My name's Karen Leslie and I was the project manager on the Integrate project for the second of the two years of the project. I just wanted to say a little bit about one of the core aims of Integrate, which was to look at assessment and feedback with large numbers of students. In the first year of the project, we tested out the Assessment 21 ABC software with one module of master's students and had a very, very successful online exam using that software. We ran the exam in one sitting using all of the computer rooms available on the campus at that time with 93 students. And um, overall, the practice of setting and the students sitting and the academics marking that exam went really, really well. Based on our experience in the first year, we thought we'd try that software again on a larger scale during the second year of the project. And also another academic wanted to try out using WebCT, which was then our virtual learning environment, um, for his um, master's module. In the second year, one of the major challenges we faced at master's level was the student numbers in the business school had grown hugely. So the module with 93 students on it actually had 290 students. And the second module we were trying to work with had 645 students. And we ran the exams for both of these modules. In one case, we had to have two sittings of an exam. And in the other case, we had to have eight sittings of an exam. So questions were randomised in, in that exam to allow for multiple sittings of the same exam. Um, I think we had some really positive experiences. Obviously, marking time was greatly reduced. And in the module with 645 students, I think the academic was really, really pleased that marking time was virtually eliminated from that exam. And using this technology, we did find there were some really, really good ways of testing large numbers of students with some aspects of these modules. However, having said that, I think one of the challenges the university has found trying to use this technology with these large numbers is that it's not just the desire to use this technology for testing that's, that's just not enough. There are a lot of practical issues that need to be addressed here in terms of availability of computer rooms, the numbers of computers, the support available for running the assessment on this scale. Um, and the pedagogy of what we test using online exams and how we write these exams to be really the best they can be, those challenges still need to be overcome. So the two years of the project really let us try out these technologies with a lot of students in a very short space of time and we've learned a huge amount. And at the highest levels in the university now, discussions are continuing around um, how we can move forward really, really effectively with using online testing in the very best possible ways. Um, and we hope that um, some good results are going to come of this in the future.